Hello, my crafty cuties. Guess what? It's reveal time. This is the Sew Sampler December box. I haven't opened this, so we are going to open it together. I probably have crappy scissors here. There we go. I do like my Sew Sampler box. I've been getting this for a while. Let me see if I can back you Whoa, wrong way. I was trying to back y'all out enough. There we go, and maybe I won't bump the camera. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. All right, so, oh, so our theme is Cess La Vie, Cess La Vie, okay. And um, of course you get coupons on the back side of this. There's coupons, I'm sorry, I can't share them with you there. Um, exclusive and there's actually an alternative pattern here too it's a fat eighth pattern all right and they have a get a, you can get a book a free book with a purchase of forty dollars and then some foundation paper piecing there's a coupon for that okay so and then this little thing tells us what's in our box and it looks like we have the Dulce Love Struck Fat Eighth Bundle. And it looks like maybe some pens. Flying Geese Foundation Paper. Oh, I'll be using that. Oh, and a little ruler. I love the rulers because I love Creative Grids rulers. Love them. And we get a pattern. Oh, it looks like some thread. And then, of course, our block of the month that's coming in, our pressed flowers block of the month. This is the fabric. I don't want to take it out of the pack because I don't know when that I'll be making this quilt. And you can always look it up online. So, it's beautiful love struck. Okay. Yep. There's our pins right there. Oh, I like that some of them are the double grip or the doubles. You see those right there? Perfect for seams. And then we have some heat resistant, uh, sharp and strong multiple layers of fabric. Oh, I'm excited about these. Fork pins, flathead pins. There we go. And our little ruler. This little puppy's going to come in. I love Creative Grids rulers. So we got that. We got our flying geese foundation paper. These are the small flying geese, one and a half by three inch. That'll be put to good use. Our thread, it's beautiful colors. Love the beautiful thread. And then the pattern. I'm gonna be making this because I love star patterns. And it's the sawtooth star, just like on steroids. We're making this quilt. It's 41 and a half by 41 and a half, so it's a small quilt. Won't take long to make that quilt. And then our pressed flowers quilt along, which is the marigold. This is one of those um, like mystery. You're not gonna know what it looks like till it gets done. And I'm just gonna put everything back in there. Okay, on my uh, no, on the fabric video, I had to stop and think. Um, I said in the video that you would need like seven, seven yards and something of backing fabric. That's incorrect. What is in the description box is the correct amount of fabric that I will be using for my quilt. Okay. So I just wanted to clear that up though. The batting and the backing measurements that I say in the video are incorrect, but it's correct in the description. Okay. I think that's it. You crafty cuties have a fantastic day today. Grayson was outside. I know all of y'all were looking for a cameo appearance of Grayson and he's outside. He's been a little turd this morning. It's just, it cracks me up. Cats are so funny. Merry Christmas, everyone. And of course, I'll be back. I'm gonna do a video on the quiltography uh, sometime over the weekend and I'll be posting that for all of you who are curious and what I really think about it. All right, guys, bye for now.